perfect excuse to have a war and America lose so that now you understand why all these Chinese people are here. Well, we had a war and we lost. I think they have decided, the elite, that America has to be destroyed. Uh, the, the freedoms that we do have, they have to be taken away because as long as America remains sovereign, there's not going to be a one world government. America has to fall. They've taken weapons rights away from the whole world for the most part, except for Americans. We're next. We lo we're losing our freedom next. I guarantee it. They're going to crash the economy. They're going to have a big war. And the U.S. is going to be on the losing side. And I think it's all been pre-planned. Here's another one uh, out of uh, Como News, out of Seattle. Chinese media show Seattle as potential nuclear target. That came out. All right, good morning. It is Tuesday. I don't even know what the date is, but here's what I'm working on today. This is a new to us little boy for moving our excavator around. As you can see, she's a drop deck unhook on the front. This is our old low boy. And it was a pain moving it with this one. And she's really old. So she couldn't really support the weight, but just going short distances, it was fine. So we might turn this into a water trailer, probably put a big bubble on it and have everything for spraying be ideal because then she'll be low enough you can just work you know that's what i like about it she's low enough you can work right off of her instead of a tall flatbed and we need a water trailer anyway uh all right i got a phone call from our denali guys um like i was saying that's the old low boy this is the new to us low boy drop deck so what i'm doing is looks like they had a board here at one time for a Y load sign. So I got a board and a pickup. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes, set it up here and get it put on. And that way we can, cause we gotta move the excavator across town to our Southern farms and start shoving some trees back over there. Um, we we had it done before. We had ditches put around all them farms and pushed back and it's, it's just crazy how um, Everything grows up so quick. The woods, you know, how it grows out and everything. So um, right now that's the plan, just getting this thing right here ready. We just got it, got tags and everything for it. She needs a paint job, but she's in good shape. Uh, we bought it up in uh, Delaware. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's actually really good shape for, you know, what it is. So we'll probably just use it this year, um, get everything done with it. And then we're gonna paint it black, put a fresh coat of black on her and some um, decals and everything and get that done. So, but right now it's just little bolts. It's bull crap stuff. My brother, he's sick. I'm not sure if he's got COVID or not, but we told him to stay home all week. And then, you know, next week could be Christmas week. So it's cold today. It was a lot of frost. I got the rest of the ditches done yesterday I got my farm left to do, but I rode around it with a four-wheeler, and they don't actually, I really don't have anything there to do. I might just buzz around the woods or something and get that unhooked, and that'll be done for the year. We actually did pretty good on that this year, getting the ditches done early. Um, we had all winter to do it, but this way we can get it done and just focus on um, servicing the equipment and getting it ready. So, but he'll probably, I told him to stay home all week because I don't know if he's just sick or allergies because one day it's 20 next day it's 70 around here so but just tell them to stay home all week and rest up um that way if it is covid or if it's just anything nobody's trying to catch that nonsense anymore so you know there ain't much going on let him just heal up and get whatever done he's got to get done so anyway that's what it is put the sign on or the board on right here cut it and put it on and do a little bush hogging day that'd be That'll be it for today. All right, right now I am cutting the ditches around my farm. I got most of it done. I'm just cleaning up over here by the woods. Get a lot of briars and stuff to hang out. So I try to keep it cut a couple feet back. And you can see a bush hogging with a 
side mount down the edge of the woods. I got all the ditches done. Now I'm just cleaning up around the wood line. Probably can't hear me too good. This 4440 is old rough, but it's good for doing stuff like this. Um, just gonna trim the wood back. You got a lot of briars and stuff that, that uh, grow out on the edge of the field. So I got, like I said, all the ditches done around the field now. Just cutting around the edge of the woods, trying to get the briars back, so I don't know how much I'll be able to video for you. It takes all your hands to do this job. got the compressor for the seat that's what we think it is I also got the airbag so what I'm going to do today is there's no way to work on these seats in these cans it's just not enough room so I'm going to have to get in here and physically take the seat out and try to get it out of the cam and these seats are nightmares to work on. If there's one thing I hate working on a tractor, it is a seat. Because there's just, everything is right in here. There's no room to really work on it in here. So it seems like I gotta unbolt the seat and take it out of the cab. I unplugged the armrest with all the controls on it. I wish there, there might be a bolt. Once I get it loose, I'm gonna swing it and uh, turn it so I can get in there. If I can take that armrest off, I'm going to because I don't want to tear that up with all the finger controls and everything. So if I can get the seat out, then I can work on the seat um, out of the cab. And I think that would be 10 times better than trying to do it in this little confined area. So it's, I despise working on the seat. I'd rather work on anything else on this thing other than a seat. So I'm gonna, I think I gotta take all these bolts out. I don't think I can just take these off. Well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, do I hate working on seats. So that's the plan for today. And then I got a dentist appointment. I gotta get a tooth pulled at one o'clock. So that's another fun thing I gotta go do. They were gonna wait till the 20th to do it that's the only opening and then somebody canceled so I'd rather get it done now so by Christmas time hopefully it'll be healed up so this is the project so I'll show you more once I figure out what I'm doing all right so I just got the seat out and I am exhausted just trying to get the damn thing out by myself these seats have gotten to weigh a couple hundred pounds maybe by themselves and I got to fight it through this little teeny doorway up here but the brighter side is, it's not really that dirty like I thought it would be. I mean, it's dirty, but you figure after 20 some years that it would be horrible. Of course, there's parts that I don't know where they come from because you got to try to unbolt everything. So, anyway, we got it out, or I got it out. And. Now the fun work begins trying to figure out how to fix it. But at least it's out. I gotta get the top off, this thing off somehow, so I can get in here. Here's a cylinder that raises it up. And I think underneath this is the compressor. Why they make these things so difficult to work on, I'll never know, but they do. So this is this is what what's going on. I despise working on these things. Despise it. I despise any seat that I have to work on. That is the truth. Absolutely hate it. 
Absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it. There's nothing worse than working on a, a seat. It doesn't matter. We've had to work on a loader seat. There's several seats that we had to work on. And uh, they are always the worst job on any piece of equipment to work on. I'm not kidding you. You don't, you take for granted the seat you sit in and how it goes up and down and swivels until the day it breaks. And then it is very frustrating. For me, it's frustrating. I mean, somebody that knows what they're doing, they could probably pop it in and out and be done with it. But I despise it. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I hate it. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, anyway, I don't know. I'll get to messing with it for a little while. All right, so as you can see yesterday, I got the seat apart. I did get the new compressor installed and new airbag. Now this compressor is different from the old one newer model this right here is the old one that's a new one so it's different I have no clue if it's even gonna work um, I still gotta hook the solenoid up that one right there was on it this one right here is separate so you got to figure out how to hook it up and where to put it in that tall space I don't know why they changed it up instead of keeping it the way it was where it was all built into the same unit that makes no sense to me, but that's John Deere. So, and I didn't video it because it's very frustrating. And I got a late start. I didn't get up here till about 11 because yesterday I had to go get the tube pulled that one of my crowns fell off. So that was fun. So not only is my jaw aching, but now I got to deal with a seat. And as you know, I hate working on tractor seats. I would rather wash a combine I would rather blow a combine off, wash it, and wax it the same day than fool with a little seat. Um, you take for granted these seats, I'm telling you, it's, you know, you don't realize what goes into them until you got to pull them apart and work on them. And they are a nightmare. So I got that done. I'm going to put the solenoid on it, figure out where to put that at, um, put the base on the swivel we got to swivel because the, the seat was broke where she wouldn't swivel and once you get in the seat that swivels where you don't have to like dash your whole body around you can pretty much turn the seat and look um you never want to go back to one that, that doesn't work so i'm going to put that on and then i got to figure out how to get the seat connected back to the base because i don't know what i did to get it all but i got it all somehow so i'm gonna put that on and then hopefully tomorrow, I'm not going to do it today, but tomorrow I'll put it back in the tractor if I can get it all back together and figure out how to do that. Um, I'll put it back in the tractor and plug it all in and see if it works. Now, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to clean underneath where the seat was. It's not as dirty as I thought it was, but I'm going to go ahead and clean underneath of that and I'll look good there pro-Trump flag that he should be the president, but that was a crooked election. But anyway, um, the American flag too. But I'm going to put it in, test it out, see what it does. Um, I want to get it done before Christmas because we're going to be going next week to Ohio for Christmas, so I want to get this done and get this tractor out of here because this is the only thing preventing it from put away in cold storage and getting something else in here so when I get back for Christmas I can start servicing all the other equipment um, I like to get everything done sometime beginning of January be done with everything and then figure out crops work on stuff like that and just get a break um, but like I say this is this is frustrating um, I took it apart. I know where all the bolts and stuff go. I should have videoed it, get it taken apart. But I, uh, it's hard when you're by yourself. You got to use 
both hands and trying to figure out where to put the camera and stuff like that. That's why you don't see a lot of working on stuff. You see the post, the pre and the post working on things because if I'm by myself, I have to use both hands and I can't figure out where to put a camera at 90% of the time. And the seat is frustrating. And I don't want to be cussing on video no, no more than I already do. Because it is very, I know I said that a hundred times, but it is very frustrating. Just getting it out of the cab was frustrating. Especially by myself, because you don't realize those seats weigh probably a couple hundred pounds. And you're trying to get it out that little door and I, I had the forklift with a pallet up there and trying to get it on the pallet. It's a nightmare. Because I couldn't figure out how to get the control arm off of it without taking so much more apart. So I said, the hell with it. So I twisted her out of there by myself, so. But hopefully I can get everything put back on, put back together and get it put back in. You probably won't see that in this video, but uh, I hope that I can get it. I might just get frustrated and go home because where my jaw hurts. I might just say hell with it, so. But I'm gonna at least try to get everything put back together today and then probably tomorrow morning put it back in the tractor. And then I still gotta plug it in to see if it works because you can't really test it out down here. So I'm gonna have to get everything back in and see if it works. So then if it don't work, then I'm really screwed. Then I gotta pull it all back apart. So I could have done it in the cab if you could have got it up, but where it doesn't, it won't lift up. I tried to pick it up and put a block to work on it, but there's no doing that. You got to have it out of the cab. Cabs just aren't. You think they're big? The cabs are big until you got to actually get in there and work on something, and then after that, the cabs are little. You just there's just not enough room in them. So I'll get it put back together and show you the final result hopefully probably in the next video so i will holler at you later like subscribe i know the video isn't much but we're not really doing much this time of year other than tankering and stuff like this is what we're doing so once we start getting um probably after christmas once we start getting everything else in here to be and my brother gets back from being sick then we'll have a lot more to to video and do and everything but right now it's just me out here tankering by myself so and then like i say we're going to ohio you will see ohio footage i love going to ohio i love the hills you know we're on flat land here i mean there's no hills but they call it snow hill we hardly get any snow or we don't have any hills but up there it's just i mean it's crazy how they farm up there on some of the hills i like to go up there the problem is when we're harvesting they're harvesting and it would be nice to be able to go up there and see how they they work them hills. You know, the further west you go, that's when you get into more flat land. But where we're at up there, by Mount Vernon, and uh, I think it's Knox County, there isn't, I mean, it's hills. And, you know, so, and I like going to the deer dealerships up there. And just showing you what goes on while we're in somewhere different. Uh, I would like to buy a farm up there with a house on it. That way we could go spend time up there. Um, but, you know, everything costs money, so. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, share. Sorry there's not much to see, but frustration. But it shows you what we do as farmers when we're not out in the field. You know, we're, we're working on stuff. And sure, I could have got John Deere to do this, but they probably would have charged $1,000, $2,000 in labor do it so um, you know the parts were already expensive enough and I think they quoted me this seat if I was gonna buy just the seat it would have been like five grand so I'm not even gonna have a quarter of that tied up with me doing it but if if I got them to do it I would have I should have just bought a new seat because by the time they do their labor and all that it would have been it might have worked but I still would have had a new seat and five, six thousand dollars parts labor or a seat just ain't that's a lot of money to spend. You know, it's crazy these seats cost this much, but we'll not uh I'll not spend that much on a seat. Hopefully we get it working, or hopefully I get it working, get it back up in there and uh and get it out of here. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. 
though. We'll see. Anyway, see you later.